हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट क्यूमिन स्टेप टाइमिंग कंट्रोल क्यूमिन हैज इंट्रोड्यूस ए न्यू वेरिएबल इंजेक्शन सिस्टम कॉल्ड स्टेप टाइमिंग कंट्रोल और यू कैन से एस टी सी द सिस्टम एकम्पलिश द सेम रिजल्ट एज मकैनिकल वेरिएबल टाइमिंग और एम वी टी वन ऑफ द मेन डिफरेंस इज इज दैट एस टी सी इज एक्टिवेटेड बाय लू बॉयल वाइल एम वी टी इज एक्टिवेटेड बाय एयर Step timing control is currently used in NT855 engine series as well as the K19, K38 and K50 operated engines. STC allows the engine to operate in advanced mode of injection as well as normal mode of injection. Advanced mode of injection timing during starting and light engine load conditions. and at normal timing during medium to high engine load conditions advanced timing means that fuel is injected earlier in the compression cycle normal timing means that fuel is injected later in the compression cycle STC offers many advantages during advanced injection timing that improves cold weather idling characteristics reduces cold weather white smoke improves light load fuel economy and reduces injector carboning during normal injection timing STC controls cylinder pressure reduces nitrogen oxide emissions so as the piston moves upward in the compression stroke the pressure in the cylinder increases when the fuel is introduced and begin to burn the pressure increases to a predetermined maximum value on a given engine the amount of fuel introduced and when it is introduced determines the point at which peak pressure occurs and the value of that pressure at a given rpm and quantity of fuel injection timing determines cylinder pressure notice that the point of the peak pressure can be moved by changing the point at which fuel begins to enter in the combustion chamber changing the point of peak pressure and the degree of the pressure is accomplished with a step timing device notice that step timing causes fuel to be injected later than under the same conditions without this device the peak pressure is lowered allowing the engine to live longer during cold startup and warm idle condition only small amount of fuel is metered into the injector cup This low volume of fuel results in later injection which affects cylinder pressure at the top is that advanced condition with step timing which increases cylinder pressure during low speed light load conditions At idle the plunger moves downward at a relatively slow rate consequently the fuel is not forced through the spray nozzles hard enough to attain good atomization let us assume that the ambient air temperature is below freezing until this air is sufficiently heated by the after coolers it will not allow the combustion chamber to become hot enough to support good combustion so we have two negative factors fuel that is not atomized enough to burn thoroughly and intake air that only cannot support good combustion but continuously cools the piston liner walls and cylinder head the cold air is compressed result 
in enough heat to burn only a part of fuel usually the finely atomized droplets and the outer portion of the larger droplets this condition causes white smoke soot and carbon white smoke is formed by raw fuel and air soot and carbon are results of the partially burned fuel during advanced injection timing the fuel is injected into the cylinder sooner ignition delays longer under these conditions giving the fuel more time to mix with the intake air thus when ignition occurs the fuel is burned more completely the combustion temperature is higher and the cylinder pressure is greater so controlling the pressure that is reducing it means that we can put more air and fuel into the cylinder this condition results in more power without sacrificing the engine durability well we all know that what stc does now let's find out how it operates to begin our discussion let's briefly review the injection cycle using a top stop injector and it starting with fuel being metered into the injector cup when the cam follower roller is on the inner base circle of the cam the injector plunger is at the top of the its travel the metering orifice is uncovered and fuel flows into the cup as the cam follower roller moves up the cam injection ramp on to the outer base circle the metering orifice closes fuel metering ends and the plunger seats up in the cup forcing fuel into the cylinder during this time the drain port is uncovered allowing fuel to flow from the drain groove and return fuel to the tank Now let's examine the relationship between the STC tapper and injector plunger. For this example, we'll use a simple hydraulic device with a inner and outer piston. Notice how these pistons relate to inner and outer pistons of STC tapper. In normal timing the tappet collapses it means the inner piston touches the outer piston before the injector plunger begins to move so in the normal timing mode the stc injector is similar to a standard injector except that the stc camshaft has a higher lift to take up the space between the pistons in the tappet When the system is advanced timing the STC control valve directs lube oil pressure into the tappet filling the space between the two pistons the injector plunger starts moving as the cam follower starts up the injection ramp and since it is started early the injector plunger bottoms in the cup before the cam follower reaches to the top of injection ramp to allow for this extra camshaft lift the oil trapped in the tappet is forced out allowing the tappet to collapse Let's apply this principle to an STC tappet. No oil is in the tappet. The injector is is metering fuel as the cam follower start up the cam injection ramp. The injector rocker lever begins to force the inner piston downward because no oil is in the tappet. The inner piston must make direct contact with the outer piston before the injector plunger can begin its downward travel. Now let's fill the tappet with the oil. In the advanced timing, the injector is metering fuel as the cam follower start up the cam injection ramp. 
the injector lever begins to force the inner piston downward since the oil between the piston forms a solid link the downward pressure is immediately transmitted to the outer piston and the injector plunger is begins to begin its downward travel whenever the oil pressure in the oil manifold exceeds 10 psi it moves the inlet check ball from its seat and fills the cavity between the inner and outer piston during the injection cycle the oil is held inside the tappet by the inlet check ball and the load check load cell check ball when the rocker lever forces the inner piston downward the solid link of oil causes the injector plunger to contact the fuel earlier injection timing therefore is in the advanced mode at the end of the pressure in the tappet and holds the injector plunger firmly into the cup this increased pressure moves the load cell check ball from its seat the oil drains past the load cell check ball and through the drain holes into the injector adapter and returns to the oil pan through the drain passages in the cylinder head and the block meanwhile with a continued cam lift the inner piston makes mechanical contact with outer piston and maintains injector plunger seating force the stc control valve the stc control valve uses fuel pressure and spring force to control the position of an afc style plunger the position of plunger dictates whether the oil passage to go hydraulic tappet is open or closed fuel pressure acts on the piston end of the plunger during advanced timing the spring opposes the fuel pressure and holds the plunger in the open position pressurized lube oil flows to the tappets and initiates advanced engine timing the spring holds the plunger in the open position until the fuel pressure reaches above the certified switching pressure so in advanced mode spring pressure is greater than fuel pressure At this certified level the higher fuel pressure overcomes the spring pressure This action shifts the plunger and closes the oil passage the oil supply to the tappets is interrupted and the engine begins to operate in the normal timing mode Thanks for watching this video Thank you